Hey, what's up? In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to teach you how to create some camera shake effects to make it look like someone's holding the camera, but in reality, it's on a tripod. Hey, what's up, media makers? Thank you so much for tuning in to this After Effects tutorial. I'm Sam Gisele with ForgeMediaSchool.com, where we look to eliminate your obstacles so you can embrace your creativity. So you might be asking yourself, why don't I just have a person hold the camera? Well, there's the obvious answer for maybe you are a one-man crew, but you want that handheld look. But also, when you're adding visual effects to a scene, it's so much easier to do that when you are on a tripod. That eliminates any need for having to motion track something to make it look like it's fitting into the scene. What you can do is just put it on a tripod and then later adding that camera shake. For example, if I wanted to add this video that you're watching right now into that screen behind me, it would be a lot more difficult to do that if someone was holding the camera right now because I would have to motion track the uh, screen itself and then add the correct amount of motion blur and it would just, it would take a much longer time than just putting it in the screen and adding camera shake. Alright, so enough about how we can actually use this. How do we actually do it? Let's talk about that. Alright, so let's get started. So all I did so far was take my clip and drag it onto the new composition button. That made a composition that was the same settings, the same duration as my clip. So this is just the clip, this is no effects on it so far. So all I need to do is create a new camera. So I'm going to go up to layer, new, and camera. So I'm just going to leave this at the default settings, and the default for me right now is 50 millimeters. So that's good for me. I'm just gonna hit OK and accept that. So when we're working with a camera, you're basically saying um, I want to uh, work with 3D elements in this scene. Well right now we don't really have any 3D elements in this scene. So if I were to move this camera around, if I were to hit P and just move this around, I'm moving the position, but you don't really see that because I don't really have any 3D layer. So I'm, I need to check this this little box right here and make this a 3D layer. Now, if I start moving this around, you can see some movement. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add what's called a wiggle effect to our camera. What the wiggle effect does is it basically makes random movements on whatever property you choose. So we can add those random movements on the position, on the scale, on the rotation, on the opacity, whatever. What we want to do is add it on the rotation. Because say someone was holding the camera, if they're holding it, um, really what they're doing, they're also probably moving the position, but they're probably more so moving in terms of rotation just slightly. So what we want to do is add a wiggle expression to our rotation. So if I make sure our camera slides and hit R. Um, I just want to alt click on our stopwatch on orientation. So hold alt and click and then it kind of comes up a little bit different. We see that these numbers turn red and we can start typing in here. That's where we're going to type our wiggle expression. So if we just type in uh, wiggle and then open parentheses and then what we want to do is type in two numbers. So it's a number comma a number and then cl close the parentheses. So the first number in this is the speed at which this wiggle happens. The second number is the amount of movement that um, this wiggle is giving. So let's get, just kind of play around with this. So let's say the speed we're going to set to 30 and we're going to hit comma and the amount of movements let's just say 1. So we have very fast movement and it's not moving very much. So I'm going to hit um, my close parenthesis and close that up. Now what we want to do to basically lock this in is just move our playhead. So as you can see we got definitely a lot of wiggle and this is like a serious earthquake because what's happening here is it's not moving very much, it's only moving one degree, but at the same time it's making 30 of those wiggles per second, so it's moving very fast. Okay, so we don't want that amount of camera shake because that just, that looks silly, that doesn't look like someone's actually holding the camera, it looks like someone's having a seizure behind the camera, if anything. So what we want to do is click our expression here to go in and edit it, and I'm going to set this to like one, because we don't want extreme fast movements, um, but we're going to just try this speed. Okay, so that speed, honestly, is not that bad. My only issue here is that we are um, moving a little bit too much. Obviously, we have a little bit of black here, and we're going to have to scale up our video to get rid of that. But even if we scale this up, it doesn't seem uh, very organic. It almost seems like too much of a movement. So what we can do is bring down our second number. So I'm just going to try, like, point two. 
And I think that looks a little bit more organic because we can see there is movement here. Obviously, it's on a tripod, but um, we can see that it looks like there is some sort of movement here. And it doesn't look too extreme. It looks like someone is really trying to hold this as sturdy as possible, but it's just it's not working for them. We can see that they're holding it. So that's great. If I wanted to just stop there and say, that's my camera shake, that's fine. But I don't want to stop there because I want to maybe add a little bit of a keyframe. So what you saw in the intro was it started out with just a normal camera shake like you just saw, but then it got really fast and then we got back to a normal camera shake. Well, the way that I did that was through using keyframes. Well, we can't use keyframes on an expression very simply. So I'm going to teach you how to actually do this. So what I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go up to layer, new, and add a null object. This null is going to be our control layer. So I'm going to rename this control layer. And then I'm going to go to my effects and presets and type in control. And I want uh, slider control. So I'm going to drag that onto my control layer. So by itself, this slider control doesn't really do anything. I can pull this around and it's not doing anything. But what this slider control does is I can parent my wiggle expressions to this slider control. So what the heck does that mean? So if I go into my wiggle expression and I just get rid of my first number. So I'm going to delete that one and then go over to my pick whip right here and drag up and connect this to my slider control. So what that's doing is it's replacing that number one with whatever's right here. So if I were to make this one, we're basically getting the exact same effect that we had before. But now what we can do is I can crank this up. So now instead of one being there, we have 158. So the reason that you would want to do this is let's bring this back to one. So if I scrub forward in time, say this is where I want my extreme shake to happen. If I just add a keyframe here, I'm going to make sure this is selected and hit U. That brings up all my keyframes in this layer. Uh, drag this up and crank up my speed. So now we're getting a normal shake, a normal shake, and then all of a sudden it gets faster. And then we can bring this back down to 1. So we got much faster and then we're back. And if we wanted to, we can also do that on the second number here. That's going to affect um, the amount of movement that it is making. But I am satisfied with this. So in a nutshell, that is the wiggle expression. That You can use that on anything. You can use that on layers. You can use that on a camera, any property you want. And this is um, actually how you control those wiggle expressions, by using a slider control and putting it on a null object. Guys, it's probably safe to say that the wiggle expression is the one expression that you are going to use the most because a lot of times in After Effects, you want things to look random. And if you start creating quote unquote random animations manually, it's not going to look random. That's why the wiggle expression exists. Guys, if you got anything out of this After Effects tutorial, please go ahead and check out my other After Effects tutorials here on this channel and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content like this every single week. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any ideas on After Effects tutorials, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.